Okay. Oh. Pretty trashy. <laughs> Maybe I should adjust the mask. I'm not sure how quick that is, but let's we'll see. Uh, doing this super quickly. Hopefully. And oops. There we go. Let's export this to a PNG. And that one. Yes. Yeah, so I was supposed to start this much earlier today, but I um, had some issues charging the switch. But that should be resolved. <laughs> um, let's see. Mask. Can I reload this? Does it reload automatically? Happens if I just disable, enable, nope. Uh, I think that's a bit better. It's good enough. Have some. Uh, the lighting on the green screen is not that good because I don't have separate lights for it, but this will have to do. Um, hopefully audio is okay. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Been putting this off for way too much, too long. So let's go for it. This is the chat, which will probably not see much action. And I don't even get the, the control panel from Twitch. Thanks, Twitch. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm alive though, I hope. Not supposed to be the case anyway. Uh, does say though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 that works. So it, it is working. So let's put the water over there. <laughs> so this is the Labo VR kit. Definitely not made for me, but it's VR, so what am I supposed to do? Let's just go with it. No knife needed, hopefully. That's the game case. It's not even my switch, I'm borrowing the switch from my brother. It's nice enough to let me, let me keep it for a few months. Uh, uh, <laughs> Allow me to find a knife. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, really? I think this knife has been abused for way too much. 
too many times. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't get into the... Oh, is there a, is there a pull, pull strip? Uh, well, this is really blunt. I've used it to open packages with like forever. There we go. Wow, okay, that was anticlimactic. Uh, it's even the f first switch game I opened. So I blame my inexperience. So that's the Toycon 4 package. This is a bit ridiculous with a small cartridge in this big box. Very reminiscent of the Nintendo DS, of course. I'm gonna plop this in. Switches all the way over here. Uh, system update. Why? Wow. Okay. That's a brilliant surprise. I guess that would be the. Oh crap! I oh. I uh, clicked the B button because I'm used to the Xbox controller. That's nice. How do I get the update again? Uh, really? How? Oh, there we go. Ugh. Could not connect to. <laughs> if you're using a wired connection, is there a LAN port on the dock? Wow, I've played Zelda on this, but I never, never had to use the internet. I guess. Uh, internet settings. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hide the, the game view for <laughs> just a little while, setting up the Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, how do I do? Uh, how do I, uh. Let's see. Did I do that right? No, that was wrong. Crap. Well, um... Should be my Wi Fi password. Okay. <whistles> Successfully connected. Okay, let's turn this on again. Come on. There we go. Yes, update. Console will restart. Okay. That's fine. <sighs> let's dig into the box, I guess. Here are the instructions. Uh, I was gonna put a camera above me, but I would have to drill into my ceiling, and I, uh, yeah, that was a bit too ambitious for today. Erster Schritt vor an die Schlag. This is the wrong language, uh, but okay. 
Uh, and nerf this host via sort is the logical. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Uh, put take the cartridge out, put it into the console, flip flop with the cardboard. Okay. Wow, what is? Oh, these are all the like joints and stuff, rubber bands, and this seems to be a VR goggle. Hello, Buck. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life. Or the time of cardboard. Wow, this is a crap ton of cardboard. How? What? It's funny how they made all of these into an L shape to fit the box. It's like uh, extremely optimized. Huh. And then we have full, full sheets below this. Um. <laughs> It's still updating. Wonderful. Um, the instructions are on the console, from what I know, which is why I'm just browsing the box. <sighs> so this took them three additional weeks to ship. Do you have various colors, shapes. I have a. a feeling that this will dry out my skin something crazy if I keep handling this much. This looks pretty VR-y with the grid on it and stuff. Uh, what's it doing? I'm watching my TV which is over there. My arm gets clipped. Oh, please please show it on the TV. But Ugh. I'm using an HDMI splitter to get into the capture card at the same time, and it's uh, it's not treating me very well. Mm, da, 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 da. Why? Let me switch channel, stupid piece of crap. There we go. Thanks, TV. Switch channel when turning off the or rebooting the. Oh yeah, right. Um, um the, the controller is turned off. There we go. I hear the sound, but nothing is happening. Oh, did it freak out the capture card? Is it static? <laughs> uh. But then again, I don't see anything moving on the TV. That how? Wh oh, what? What? It's, oh, okay. So, okay. Um, yeah, this is going super well. <laughs> so this is the native unboxing experience what you get get a bunch of software updates and firmware updates wow okay huh does it say what these are i think this is the headset it looks like a headset picture this is, looks like wings I have no idea. Did complete. Babo VR. There we go. Figured I would should probably build the headset first. Uh, <laughs> this is what we do instead of playing with the index. This is as close as we get to the ultimate VR experience. Uh, no, it doesn't know what I have. Which do I have? I have the Super Mega Kit. Oh, here we can see from the colors what everything is. So this is the f flappy pedal thing. The turquoise. Uh, I think 
that will have to wait for later. So I'm gonna put that into the void outside camera view. Um, yeah, let's. Oh, it deselected it. Okay. Restrict the use of VR mode using Toy-Con VR goggles to view 3D visuals for children 6 and under. VR mode is only suitable for players aged 7 and above. Kids, please check with an adult. Do you want to love the use of VR mode? Yes. VR mode is enabled. Apply to all users. Yeah, I guess the other ones would be playing and stuff, so let's make first. First, let's get a bit of practice. I think that is this, this one. Wow, this is a bit more awkward than I expected. Looking at the TV all the way over there. <laughs> Do these have numbers? Oh, this is number A. And this looks like the bazooka thingy, the blaster. Hold the A button to go forwards. Hold, hold. Oh, you need to, oh, okay. That's how you make the Joy-Con holder. Yep, the A for... Wait, 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 wait. It's, oh, you got it. I just want to click. Light bulb A. This is blaster. Blaster. Blaster, 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 blaster. These are all blaster. So, the like, iconography is kind of helpful. This is our bird. Oh, that, yeah, the bird. The headset stuff is in here. Yeah, this. Oh, this is this is the bold one. Uh, it says push this part out. Oh, this will take the most amount of time probably. Take care to not to not bend it. Oh, I've already bent it, so but it's uh, almost okay. Hold the A button to go forward. That is the A button. Oh, okay, it's just resisting. Try flipping the piece over once. It makes it easy to spot the bits you need to pop out. So I guess the ones that are completely cut. Cut should probably be popped out. Oh. How long do I have to press? That's obnoxious. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for weeks now, so I'm impatient. I'll use other pieces later. In the meantime, keep the sheet store in the box. Wow, I have to hold it that long. Hold it. Build the Toy-Con in handheld mode using the touch screen. Oh, because then I don't have to hold the button for so long, or what? Oh, then maybe... Oh, I can spin it and stuff? Oh, okay. Right, right, right. The... Oh, Z1, L1. Wouldn't that be... Oh, okay. Oh, so that's panning and zooming and to level orbit. Press X. Keep checking the image on the screen to make sure your creation matches it. I've done Lego since I was a kid. It should be theoretically fine. Uh, careful, the back and front are different. Different. Put the printed side facing down now. Get 
the building great is to firmly fold along the fold lines. You want to crease the folds first before actually building each piece. It makes everything much easier. That feels a bit drastic, but I guess let's do it. You did it right, the folded piece will stand up on its own. I guess. Uh, kind of. Uh, it doesn't stand perfectly straight though. It falls one by one. Does it show it absolutely everything? Hold the flap. Are oh, they doing that now? Okay. A tab. Insert the tab into the opening, make sure it doesn't get bent out of shape. Yeah, that's. Uh... I have a nice construction with uh, there's a bit small overhang to make it easy to get the flap in or the tab in, so that's nice. Uh, start to come together. Okay, that was pretty forward. Now all we need is the joy cone. We have it. Blah, blah, blah. They are currently charging because this Wii has been laying around for a long time. Or this Switch, that's how long since I played Nintendo. Okay. I'm very tiny down here because... That's what the camera had, and then I made a mask, and now I'm too lazy to change the size of it. Completely work it. <laughs> goggles! Goggles are the main thing. Do the goggles. VR goggles. Uh, did I push fast forward? Was that just a preview? That's confusing, but okay. Four steps, we are lenses, we are goggles, safety cap and prepare to okay. Don't open it yet, I have the box. We have the box. Yes, I know. Look into the sun with magnifying lenses. No, yes. Sheet goggles A. Oh, let's scrap this for now. Um, and get goggles A. Oh, goggles A has a pre made expansion flap. Okay. Uh, Pretty well serrated or whatever, perforated. Doesn't seem to uh, like if, if it's badly perforated, it would bring off the one of the paper sides would come loose. This seems pretty nicely made. Um, I have that one. It's annoying that they flash it in blue when it's actually yellow, but I guess it's uh, noticeable. Put it in the box. It is in the box. <sighs> if you run into trouble, you can use. Yeah, back. <laughs> wow, there's so much information that's not regarding building, but 
just anyway. Move anything that might end up getting in the way. Guess let's move the box to the floor. Flip the piece over before we start folding. Take a good look at where the fold lines are. I have it this way. So they show... Should I do them? This, 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 this. This looks a bit mangled. When making long folds, try both Try to crease the whole length firmly with both hands. Yeah, okay. I think that was that one. That was a weird noise. That one was pre-bent because it was around the back of the original board. I'm assuming all of these... Oh, this one is a bit floppy. Get the tabs. I want the tabs. So there are pop out items. Forgot about those. There we go. And the tabs. Yeah, folding it up, them up. Yeah. This we almost missed a couple of oh oh those are slightly perforated wow okay that's discreet <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing to watch the entire sequence anyway lunch box yes yes can I double tap no. Come on. I realize there might be an echo because I see two devices doing the same thing, but let's, let's mute one. Hopefully the game can still be heard. That's how it's supposed to work, I think. Is this everything? It's a piece of cardboard. Um No need to peel off the lens film yet. So you get the lenses in a box and it's a big plastic piece with the protective sheets. On both sides, I think so. Or is this side naked? It might be. <laughs> this one has cover. Try to avoid touching the lenses. Okay. Okay, 
This is the most ambitious engineering I've done in a while. So it's going below with the cardboard on the inside, like that. And, oh, I need more pieces. Can. I, I imagined in the beginning that this wouldn't take that long, but I can see how people spent hours on just building one thing. <laughs> it's a bit terrifying, but I mean, from what I've heard, this is a big part of the experience. It's not really the part of the experience I care about. But, um, well, I'll take it, I guess. I'm just assuming I will need the small joints and stuff, yeah. Look for two of the grey washers. Oh, stupid tape. Okay. Um. Oh, this is a, it's a separate bag inside. There we go. Just washers. I think the washers are these plastic rings. Pretty sh yeah, I see the little tap that uh, they show on the picture. Okay, let's see. One after another, slip the holes in the pieces. Slip the holes in the pieces over the sticky out the bits on the sides of the wheel lenses. Oh yeah, there's like pipe shaped stuff. Wait a minute. Did... Oh, it looks the same on the other side, okay. Just should snap on like this. Okay, so they have a uh, specific direction. I think this is correct. It's a nice snap. Let's do the other side. I don't need to do that. I uh, assembled this expertly. Is that a word? And just like that, it comes together. Plastic shell that full like goes on top of the cardboard cardboardy part. And I'm oh, is that a oh things I should have removed? Let's see. You'll need to do this again later, so remember it well. Tuck the cardboard underneath the plastic. What do they mean with doing it again? Will I get additional sheets maybe? That will go into the same lip because it has quite a quite a quite a there's a more space there for another sheet of cardboard. Wait, wait. 
I, I thought that it doesn't feel ready, but okay. If they say so. Oh, that's the B. Like, the setup time for the entire Labo kit will probably be like 8 hours. Meanwhile, I set up the Vive at my father's place in like 15 minutes. And additional time to f mostly to figure out where to put stuff. So it's more, it's not the technical part that takes time, but the decision part. Uh, yeah, that's the piece. Just a quick tips, touch and drag forward. I can't touch. The switch is a meter away. You can do the same by holding. Hold the... What is the Z yard? Oh, that's, oh, that's this one. But, oh, that stretches the forward button to make it even quicker. Okay. Why do they tell me that now, like ages later? Also, now they're flipping it backwards. Uh, wait, wait, wait. They have it this way, okay. So they just folded. I think this one, yeah. And this one. I'm starting to suspect these folds are in different directions because previously I was supposed to have it face down with the surface down. The top lip, I think I have a few removable pieces. Imagine if I could decide the... Oh, isn't that the one? Uh, oh, I did that one beforehand. Lift the whole piece up to fold the flap at the end. The other end. Uh, I should mute my audio probably. Uh, one moment. <laughs> oh, sh shoot. I'm just muting my hangouts. Forgot about that. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Follow along carefully, okay, let's... I think I did that. None of the small flaps. Some assembly indeed. Um, I have a suspicion that I won't get much other things done today. Many other things, like... Sponge stickers. Oh, these are the other ones in the bag. All right. Is it for comfort? Origami <laughs> classes. Origami is a weird thing, but pretty interesting. It's amazing that they do it without cutting, as far as I know. Check it against the picture. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. These stickers are going to stop the console from slipping around. It doesn't matter if they're a little wonky. So is this like a cartridge for the actual games console and just slide it all in? I think that's what it, this is. Um, I'm pretty sure I should have bent this joint. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Now I might have trashed it, but I hope not. Hope not. Put 
the... Uh, that's... Okay, okay. These tabs are a bit larger than what I'm putting them on, but okay. Uh. Is it going... It's going on the crease. Is, I guess, I guess that makes sense. They bend around. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so that was just a preview. Oh. Okay, this makes sense. And I picked the long one, but never mind, I will just use it. I think it goes on to here. Ah! <laughs> Got stuck to the table. Oh, I wrinkled it. Oh. Yeah, I just picked one of the long ones off the sheet, so I felt I had to use it. I had already committed. We need to see, uh, see uh, some Labo constructions on uh, awesome games done quick. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have to pay for it, but yeah. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I remember. Oh, well, all the places are marked, so this should be fairly straightforward. Yeah. Like what I expected. Well, let's continue. Um, it's not every day you build your own headset. I mean, even if with the Google Cardboard, it wasn't this much stuff to do, but that was, I guess. First VR headset I had to build myself. Semi VR headset, I guess. Or it was a VR headset, but so trashy that well, it was quite horrible. And now we have Nintendo cardboard instead of Google cardboard. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Kind of makes sense though, if they don't want to go all in, to make it a uh, cheap experimental platform instead of an actual electronics device. There we go. I'm saying things, I'm ignoring things. Oh, I did that one the wrong way. I ruined the entire kit. Crap. Well, let's see how this goes. Yeah. I should just order a new one immediately. Why does theirs look so flat? It's like they don't even have the creases I have. That's a bit discomforting. Disconcerting. This something. Disco. Just like this. And inside that one. Uh, okay, it's a bit tight. Oh, they actually have, uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called in English, but Jaggies. Actually, just get stuck in there. Alright, what was that? <laughs> Give the slot a check from the side so it looks. See if, if it looks all wonky, straighten it out. It's fairly wonky. Uh, no, 
that's that's probably fine. Uh, okay. Shouldn't it be, like, I I'm pretty sure there are more steps because this doesn't feel ready, but I don't know. Yeah, in and out, in and out, very nice. As the console is now in the dock, uh, and that's what puts the picture on this. Stream, I will. <laughs> I will uh, avoid even trying it inside. I think this is now a uh, consumed piece of cardboard, or what's it called? It has no more useful parts on it. It's not like I've eaten it. Oh, come on. Why is this so tiny? Side up, clip this in, clip that in. Flip it over. <laughs> and that one. Only that okay. Smooth stickers. Wow, this is really the kind of... When I was a kid, I had these kind of stickers and we had books where you would like put down squares and circles and stuff to build figures. This is all very nostalgic in a weird way. Fold the pieces firmly in half. Good. There we go. Be careful. Oh, am I? I'm actually taping it together. Okay. Right. It's getting a bit complicated. Oh, this is very flimsy. Say this is very important. I don't know why, but it's probably a good idea to pay attention to details. Put them back in the box. I have it like this. So this one goes into that hole. I don't re I don't really know what this is for, but okay. Wait, wait, let's go. Oh, they make it straight. Well, there you go. The nose piece. Oh, okay. Face fit the nose piece into the main lens frame. I didn't imagine that the nose piece would be out of cardboard. Wait, what? Did... Oh, they flipped it up. <laughs> ah! I was like, did I put the lens box in the wrong way around? That would... That, that... Yeah, wow, okay. Thanks, Nintendo. Uh... Yeah, a few small details have taken have taken me by surprise. So, uh, 
certainly a few quirky parts of the constructions that would be hard to figure out. I mean, I would prob probably not figure any of this out. So, uh, this looks about uh, kind of correct. I guess there are more structural elements to hold it together soon. Let's add the console slot. Oh, so it's actually not a cartridge. It's get it gets mounted into the headset. Okay. that they have it's a bit hard to see but it's a jagged track in it that kind of grabs the other cardboard there we go uh, I think that's how it should be <laughs> Slot feet poking out, yep. On the other side, yep, yep, yep. The bottom of the slot still properly is still properly connected, right? Connected? Well it sits in the right place, so I assume that it is. Oh, <laughs> and it all fell apart. Wow, wow. Uh, yeah, if I hadn't been spinning it around and looking everywhere, it would be fine. But I guess that works. Let's finish this. Roll up the lens piece over onto its front. Why back? Oh, why is this button? If it lines up perfectly with this fold, the next part should be a piece of cake. It looks perfect. So let's go for it. Lift up the big flappy thing. Tuck it under the plastic like we did before. This is an ambitious cardboard construction. I'm fairly impressed, I have to say. Lift up the great big tuck it. Yeah, yeah, I will this. Now to secure the sides, lift a little tab up. So the blaster is the nightmare. I'm a bit terrified. Uh, people are saying that that one is like the most fun one. I guess it comes with a polished game, which obviously makes it compelling. Um, I should probably only have gone for the blaster package because who knows if I would actually put all of these together even. Well, that's a neat package. So this is, is this, is it? This is the headset. Check that the nose piece. Those lips are on the outside. This lip is on the outside. It's not super square, but it's pretty flexed, so it should be fine. Oh, well that sounds nice. The bird on your face, not the, the air flap thing, right? That, no, that's a frog game. Yeah. Now stand the goggles up. Here's a little 
Take the top with the accelerometer, probably just like the Google Cardboard did. But they had a magnet, but if you had an unofficial version, you could also bump it and stuff. That's pretty obnoxious. Yeah. Nice work. We're almost finished. The only thing we have to left to build now is an important little like safety cap. Isn't that cap on the other side? Oh okay. Um, complete products. I feel like I'm working in a factory. That's this one. It has a bit, a few discardable parts. These are tiny. There we go. Does this come out? Yeah. There we go. Matching it to what's on the TV. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, yep. Yeah. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, that was a bit too quick. We used other pieces later, store them in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will make sure the console doesn't fall out. Oh, okay, so it's not for storage, it's when actually playing. Uh, misunderstood that one. Okay. Flip it over and let's fold all the stuff. Uh, this one is a bit precarious because of the hole. And also. This and this and this and yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, oh they wanted me to drag a finger. Oh, that it, they repeat the tap symbol. Done that, done that, done that. Oh, yeah. And this is the actual construction. Uh -oh. Does this actually go together? Wow, oh, okay. Snapping cardboard. Well, yeah, I guess that that's a thing. Uh, let's continue. Oh, that was it. Okay. I have this tab over here that should. Oh, it's just. Oh, it should be completely removed. Okay. The front of it is kind of huge. There we go. Matches the holes on the top and the tab symbol. I'm presuming there's something more will go on here because there are. I guess you could have attachments. Off. 
It is cardboard. This will uh, wear out. I wonder how quickly. Might not last for super long. Add the console. Uh, please remove it from the dock. Okay, it will go dark momentarily. Well, let's do this step and see what happens. Boop! And I'm living in darkness. So here we have it now. And uh, uh, I guess I can tap on here now. Oh, and then I lost the audio to the capture card as well. Oh, this is nice. Make sure you have the Joy-Con and L and R. Yes. Detach. Back. Forward. I show the headset. Uh... Remove the final seal. We're removing the plastic in front of the lenses. Done. Forward. Always grip them firmly. Yeah. Let's practice looking through the goggles. Oh, oh, the the black square. Oh, that's funny. There are black squares on the inside of this, and they are actually a stereo pair, so I can focus on a square when I look into this. It has rounded corners, but. <sighs> That'll probably be a bit hard, but yeah, so that's interesting. This it's kind of like a calibration pattern, basically. See what else goes on here. Uh, yes, that's. We're now firing the switch into space. It is nice. And that's a tiny square, you won't see anything. Warning when using the VR kit, only play seated. Be mindful of your surroundings. Don't forget to take regular rests. Okay. Touch the switch to VR mode. That makes it into this stereo view. Insert the goggles into the, in the insert the console into the goggles. Should probably wipe down the screen. Okay, that was easy enough. And then put on the safety cap for it not to fall out. Then you do this. Oh wow, this is Google Cardboard! Does have tracking. It's a bit hard to get the sweet spot. Maybe, maybe there isn't a sweet spot. Uh, tap. Well. It's a shame I can't show this live, but okay. Going through some demo. Put on the cap, I already did the cap. Give a tap to start. I'm in a green field and I'm looking at a tiny character and Welcome to the world of VR. This is, yeah. Before you make your next toy con, try playing around here for a while. Um, I can control a character that vanished. There he is. Why 
Wow, this looks pretty garbage. Wow. <laughs> like the image quality. I see the pixels, but I'm pretty sure the, the switch is actually rendering lower than the panel. I think the VR rendering is reducing the actual render resolution. Because I see more pixels than I see actual detail. And I see a flat cutoff in the middle. So if I look, if I switch my eyes around, I see the insides of the headset on the inside, like in the middle, where the nose should be. That's a bit distracting because uh, when I merge the picture in my head, it looks a bit weird. And obviously now there's no, there's no low persistence. This is DK1 motion blur hell. Wow. Ha! <laughs> ah. ah. Wow, I just I was just transported six years back in time. Wow, okay. The tracking is uh, worse than the DK1 because there's a, a noticeable latency and there's some distortion. If I push them down, like crushing my nose, I get less distortion. So I guess the lenses have a sweet spot, but they're just a bit too large for my or my nose is too large. And it has also, <clears throat> the whole world has already drifted 45 degrees to the right. So now that is forward. Yeah, this is, uh, this is VR. Double tap to exit. Close. And a crap ton of... Now it's almost 90 degrees off. Wow, okay. I hope there's a reset button. It resets between scenes, so that's nice. How do I exit? Oh. Okay, let's... Uh... Whoa. Well, I'm glad I didn't invest in a switch for this, because... Uh, uh, there's a lot, of, lot to be wanted from the Switch VR mode, that's for sure. Oh, and it pops into uh, monoscopic mode. And the TV freaks out. Wow. Why TV? No, I didn't change that. I don't even think the lighthouse is on, so the TV should be fine, but it's not. It's weird because it's. it's I guess the switch is on HDMI 1, but the picture doesn't arrive until I, unless I pick HDMI 3. That's weird. Uh, okay, we're back in the main menu. <sighs> wow, I'm almost a bit nauseous from that little stint. Of, uh, <laughs> wow. It's been ages since I felt like this. Absolutely zero positional tracking is, uh, bad. I was absolutely way more excited about this, like, five minutes ago. Wow, well, okay. Well, it's not... It's a bit worse than I expected because of the very low render resolution even if, if the panel has plenty of resolution to be better than the DK1 the render resolution is actually worse because it doesn't doesn't do 100% it doesn't fill all, all the pixels with detail <laughs> Wow, oh, wow, I'm, I'm actually a bit nauseated <laughs> from that little <laughs> Ah. Wow, okay. Uh. Six o'clock. 
This took an hour. Okay. <sighs> Successfully downloaded update data. Still doing updates. Okay. okay, so I have done the VR goggles. I have. Do I have all of these? What? I didn't realize the small ones existed. Like this. Uh... Oh, that is the tracked second player goggles. And this is something. Camera seems really interesting. It's supposed to have haptic clicks when you turn the lens around. The elephant has six stop drawing due to the IR camera and the retro reflective dots, I think. They are. And the bag. Third is a bit weird. <laughs> Wind pedal is. Uh, I've heard it's more compelling than it seems, and I know I've been in like these, you know, 70 or 40 or whatever 11D experiences where you sit in the chair and it shakes and you get mist and air and rumble and all that stuff. Uh, fans and uh, air actually does a lot. Air, air being blown at you, so uh, that will probably be interesting. And the blaster, which is apparently a monstrosity. And I can, s I think I understand why, because that is like six or seven sheets. Entire sheets. I think this is seven, yeah. That seems like a big project. I'm a bit annoyed that I have pieces left for the headset. Uh, but I don't know what they are. Did I miss something? That feels a bit bad, but it seems like a complete headset. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, it might be this. What is this thing? Toy-Con screen holder. Let's see if it's actually the thing I'm holding. Yeah, it looks very suspicious. I just want to uh, use the rest of this piece because it's pretty much done for the headset. The goggles. I'm not sure if, if I will build on stream again, uh, maybe if I want to experiment with streaming again. I might do the effort to do a top-down camera. This is pretty pointless, but it's interesting to experiment with the streaming format in any case. Uh, two steps. That seems easier than last time was four steps. This is the right place. That is... Oh, they, they are individual parts. That's nice. I thought it was one big part. It looked a bit crazy. Uh, okay, there we go. Feeling pretty okay now, but that was that was in, intently bad. <laughs> Even the distortion was hard to get right because uh, of the sweet spot. That says something about the lenses in the the PC headsets. Uh, I think that is now done for. Might have more pieces on a different sheet. There are five fold lines. Fold, fold, fold. fold. Oh, these 
our pop outs. Those are one of these, these are those friction based or whatever, tension based cardboard grabbers. Turn off focus on the camera so it might be hard to see but they are, uh, they are kind of jagged. These vertical strips there, or is it called slots? Yeah. It's Supposed to go this way, yeah. There we go. Get the bag with the special parts. Uh, sponge stickers. Are the two stickers we'll be using this time? The road is to stop the console from slipping around that much. Is that? Are all the stickers the same size? I hope so. Looks like it. <laughs> that looks pretty straightforward. Getting really hungry. <laughs> oh. oh, this is shifted. There we go. Sure, how important that is, but it's probably a good idea if it lines up. We'll need no. We'll need more sponge stickers for other builds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's time to put everything together, lift up the base. Oh, I can use the stick to, oh, that's just, that wasn't, that was just moving the camera. Right, right, right. I thought I was actually fast forwarding. <laughs> sure what this is for but it's what's the joy joy con holder i'm not used to saying that word Just apparently. Assume this goes into the hole. Yep. The screen holder. Is that if you? I g I don't know. Why is this a thing for the VR kit? Be able to do yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just want to see what I'm supposed to do. Why do they force me to do this? Oh, it's going dark again. Boop. Now oh, it's on this screen. Ugh. I, I'm looking at the TV while it's dark. That's nice. 
So let's see what this is actually for. I'm supposed to slide the console in this way. Switch. The screen holder is ready. I guess this might be part of the other kits, like a component. Okay. That is an interesting rumble effect. Yeah. So I have no idea what this is for, but okay. If it pops back onto the TV. Oh, oh, finally. No. Oh, it, it freaks out. It switches to the first channel while it's actually on the third channel. I don't know. I don't know why it does this. Weird. It's also showing a DVD symbol for the switch, which is interesting. Uh, wow, okay. I'm hot and tired and uh, slightly nauseated still. Wow, okay. Uh, I would probably call that quits for now. It's been uh, a little bit more than an hour. Um, my review so far. If you have any other type of VR, it's probably nothing to go rush out and buy. But that said, I will be interested to see how the other experiences are. Using all the stuff I won't have the brains to build right now. Uh, not sure what to do first. Make either the blaster or the camera, probably. Or any of them. Ton of cardboard. Oh. Yeah, well, that that will be it. I need a break. I'm gonna vanish out of the green screen area. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, anyone, for watching this pointless stream, but it was a thing. <laughs> Wow, I'm so hot, which is a side effect from, from crappy VR. Wow. Okay, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, see you later. Bye bye. And I have no outro, so it will just shut off immediately. I'm sorry. <laughs>